you say about that view? So here I am, at my destination, the bottom of Hard Knot Pass. This is the steepest hill in the UK. Am I scared? Yes. Slightly petrified. I've seen people with bigger motorcycles get this wrong, and I have no idea whether this bike will actually get up the hill or not. As you can see, perfect conditions for riding. Leaves on the road, wet. I'm going up the hardest hill in the UK to ride up? Yeah, this is going to be great fun. One of the biggest things that I find with riding a motorcycle is going up and down steep hills. It's not something I'm very comfortable with, and it's not something I do a lot of the time, let alone things like this. I'm pretty sure there are going to be some motorcyclists watching this thinking this is a cheat, he's got an automatic gearbox, he's got no cheap gears, gears to worry about, or anything like that. But this road surface is extremely rough, and the scooter just doesn't like these little bumps whatsoever, let alone me. I can see why most motorcyclists would say the first or maybe second gear to go up here. Because you need a lot of uh, torque, but not a lot of instant power. Because you don't want the front wheel coming off the floor. I've never f thought the X-Max would actually wheelie, but it really does at certain points on this hill feel like it's going to tip over backwards and start lifting that front wheel. Very strange. Oh, yeah. What the... Come on, sheepy, out the way. The only perfect conditions are the fact that I don't actually meet any vehicles coming down the opposite way. But it is still very scary. It's amazing how flat the camera actually makes this look. It's not flat at all. If I could have the 360 camera on here at a lower angle, or maybe closer to the front wheel, you'd actually see the elevation changes of this road. The X-Max is actually fully loaded, it's got all my gear in it and we're on the way home. As I couldn't record the rest of my trip up here. I have really enjoyed the roads around the Lake District area and I would love to ride them again. Maybe on something with a little bit more power and some proper gears and enjoy the thrill. I certainly would fancy doing this again with my 360 camera on a different motorcycle. Preferably something with some suspension to take out some of these bumps. This would be about halfway up, and it's only going to get steeper. Good fun. The bike's behaving itself, although the road is very rough and bumpy, and nothing untoward apart from the fact that it feels like the front wheel wants to come off the floor all the time. Just a reminder, at any time, another car or another vehicle could come and approach you, or a sheep could jump out in front of you. The locals have said that these passing places that you'll see up and down this section of road are quite often parked in by tourists making the road almost impossible because you can't get past other cars on the way up and down the hill. This section of bends is very tight and very rough. Getting the bike to go and turn this is quite hard. There are a lot of technical sections on this road just for manoeuvring on a motorcycle you have to go in so fast to get around a corner or you're going to put your feet down and stop. Doing a hill start on here was not what I wanted to be doing. So nearly there, I can almost see the top. So that's the worst of it, going up, hill, done. I'm going to be so relieved when I get to the top. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Quite a ride just yet, but I'm not far away. Sat navs, never accurate, are they?
right at the top. Just gonna pull off and have a break. <sighs> to be fair, I needed a break. I needed a rest. It was a great relief just to make it to the top. Thank God for that. So yes, I had to video it and prove that I'd made it and send the video to my loving wife who lets me out on these daft trips all on my own. <laughs> going downhill for me is probably more scary than actually going uphill. I'm more scared of going over the handbars than I ever was of falling off the back. The road is making everything rattle on the bike, which is a little bit strange because it's normally such a quiet bike to ride and not anything unless you're using a big pole. Does it make any noise? Here we go, beginning the seriously steep descent and looking at the road and wondering where it goes. That's never a fun thing, not knowing where you're going and going slower and slower and slower. Like previously said, there was no low gear on a scooter. <laughs> so this is going to be all brakes. And the suspension isn't really set up for bouncing over lumpy roads. Starting to feel like I was glad I did my tyre pressures. Probably. Is the weather lovely up here today? Absolutely gorgeous. Regardless of which direction you approach this road, there will be a technical challenge for any motorcyclist. You go up, you've got to come down. Sappy sprocket. I commend you for having done this on an SV. Yeah, you might have had dry roads. It is absolutely beautiful up here. I feel a little bit lonely up here on my own, but hey, it's nice to have a road all to yourself, even if I can't do more than 30 miles an hour. I'm hearing the suspension bottom out. Traction control kick in. <sighs> Having looked at the video, I can't see that the traction control light came on, but something odd happened going down that hill. It certainly didn't feel normal. You have to stay at a reasonably slow pace. There's sheep everywhere. It's quite a fun thing having to stop or wait for them to move out of the way at least. Well, I don't think I'd find a herd of sheep stopping my way. The flat valley section isn't at least scary, it's back to normality, although a little rough but still. Let's just speed up the next section. And there we have it. I actually made it. I've escaped the hard knot pass with no issues whatsoever. One more cow grid to go. Turn left onto Rhino's path. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed that. If you want to watch the next section, then let me know in the comments and I'll do a video on this pass as well.